In this video, we're going to do an example of how to calculate the degree of operating leverage. So if you remember, the degree of operating leverage is equal to a company's total contribution margin divided by its operating profit. And once we know the degree of operating leverage, we can use it to quickly find out how much an increase in the company's sales would affect its operating profit. So here's the example. Let's say we have a company uh, with one type of product and the selling price per unit is $20 and every time they sell a unit they incur variable costs of $1 and then the company also has fixed costs of $15 million okay so now we're going to use this information but we also need to know how many units does the company expect to sell okay so the, the degree of operating leverage is not a constant at any level of sales you have to specify a specific sales level okay so it's not a constant so we're going to assume that there's 760,000 units are sold okay so assuming 760,000 units are sold what is going to be the company's degree of operating leverage now you see here we don't have given the contribution margin and operating profit so we're going to have to calculate those things in order to calculate the DOL so the contribution margin our numerator up here uh, you can do that a couple ways one is you could just take the unit contribution margin which is 21 minus a dollar Okay, so that's $20 of contribution margin every time a unit is sold and multiply that by the number of units sold which is 760,000 and that will give you 15.2 million dollars alternatively you get to the same answer but you could actually calculate out the sales revenue the total $21 times 760,000 and then subtract the total variable cost which is $1 times 760,000 but you get to the same place either way it's a uh, 15.2 million dollars is the total contribution margin so now we know the numerator to calculate our degree of operating leverage now we got to figure out operating profit well, operating profit, it's nice that now we know the contribution margin because the total contribution margin minus the fixed cost is the operating profit. Okay, so we just calculated the contribution margin. That's $15.2 million. So here's our $15.2 million. But then we have to subtract the fixed costs, which are $15 million. So we subtract the $15 million. And that gives us an operating profit of $200,000. Now we know both the numerator and the denominator to calculate the degree of operating leverage. Remember, it was contribution margin, which is 15.2 million. Okay, so we've got that divided by the operating profit of 200,000. Okay, that gives us 76. So the degree of operating leverage is always just going to be a number. It's it's not a dollar value. So 76. What does this mean? Let's interpret this. So basically, let's say that somebody came to you and said, well, okay right now we're going to sell these 760,000 units that's what we think is going to happen but what if what if we increased our sales by 10 percent if the sales were actually 10 percent higher than this 760,000 that we were thinking we we're going to have if there was a 10 percent increase in sales how would that change our operating profit and what we do is we multiply the percentage increase in sales by the degree of operating leverage and that will tell you the percentage increase in the operating profit so in this case we'd have 10 percent times 76 would be 760 percent so in other words if sales were to go up by 10 percent then the operating profit would increase by 760 percent okay now remember this is not a constant so it depends if i had told you okay well what if assume we had 800,000 uh, units that we sell what is the degree of operating leverage there or if it was 850,000 units we sell you know what is the degree of operating leverage it's, it's going to be different and, and actually it will it will always be highest when you're closest to the company's break-even point 